Me and the Bees tastes good and does good. It's a mission-based company that really wants to do good in the world and using lemonade as a vehicle to get there. Me and the Bees is so much more than lemonade. Me and the Bees is a social good lemonade company that I started as a lemonade stand here in Austin, Texas. So I was four and a half years old and we were at a cookout. It was the summer. I was spinning with my arms out and I got stung in the ear. And that was the first time. Less than a week later, still as a kindergartner, I got stung on my neck. So after that, I was terrified of the bees. I didn't want to have anything to do with them. And so my parents, as we're a pretty outdoorsy family, they said, you're gonna have to learn a little bit more about them because we can't have you being afraid to even step outside. Every time I think about it, I'm not surprised that my dad turned it into a learning moment because he did the same thing for all of us in so many different kinds of situations. So after doing that research and realizing that bees are insects that I'm pretty passionate about, I decided to help save them. And so the first thing that I could think of was a lemonade stand. And it was around that same summer where I got a 1940s cookbook from my great granny Helen, and it had her favorite recipe of flaxseed lemonade in it. So after a couple tries, we made honey sweetened flaxseed lemonade and I sold it at my stand and that was the first stand of Me and the Bees. The main thing that propelled Me and the Bees from being a lemonade stand uh, to a national company was my thought of imagine how many more bees I could save if I did this. And so it started with just selling out of my stand, then I taught workshops, then um, a local store said, if you can find a way to bottle your product, we'll carry it in our store. So of course I had to ask my parents. I said, you know, what type of company? Why do you want to start it? What do you need? Um, you know, immediately I, I stopped what I was doing and I, I just listened. And so we learned how to distribute a product in large enough amounts where we could sell it all over the country. Um, then it was Shark Tank. And so now, Me and the Bees is sold in over 3,000 locations across all 50 states. We are growing the amount of bottles sold 100% year over year, which is incredible growth. Plus, we're making a measurable impact on saving the bees. I'm more dedicated than ever to continue my mission to teach the next generation of change makers and to encourage social entrepreneurship. So there is a lot that Me and the Bees is working on, and it's because I'm kind of pushed by what good can I do by trying this or by taking this leap of faith. At one point, we were getting emails and letters to our P.O. box that were saying, you should remove the face off the bottle. Um, you would sell so much more lemonade if you, your face wasn't associated with the business. Or stores saying, we won't carry it until after you move your face to the back of the bottle or take it off. That was one issue. In order to grow my company, do I need to hide my brand or hide my identity from the product? I couldn't imagine someone wasting a stamp and envelope to um, to talk negative about a four-year-old child's lemonade. So, a little discouraging, but you know what? We kept moving forward. So on one hand, we were getting people who were recommending that we take my face off the bottle, but on the other hand, we were getting people who were trying my product because they wanted to support Black-owned businesses and female entrepreneurs and startups by someone who looked like me. So people were getting just inspired by walking through um, their grocery store and seeing my face on a bottle. That amount of support greatly outnumbered the amount of letters or backlash or hate that we were getting. So I was like, this is who I am and this is my brand, so I'm going to continue doing that. Always say that representation is so important. That's one of the reasons why I kept my face on the bottle and that's one of the reasons why I'm using my platform to continue inspiring black entrepreneurs and just black kids who want to do more. Having Michaela be the change that we all want to see in our youth is really important. People look at her and say, you know what, she did it, I can do it too. That teaches me personally that I'm able to start and make something big from something small and I can do what I want to if I really put my mind to it. It's a small black owned female run business and that gives us a unique perspective. And I think that's totally invaluable to what Me and the Bees Lemonade is. Dream like a kid. A lot of people think that you have to grow up 
in order to start doing great things. But the thing is, is that when we're kids, we're dreaming of opportunities instead of just obstacles. Michaela does a great job of being prepared to be different, be brave, be bold, and at the end of the day, be fearless. And that's what got us here. If you're passionate about something, it makes it a lot more fun to do and easier to do. So be passionate, get messy, and dream like a kid.